Good morning, greetings and salutations. I am Nikki, this is Midlife Adulting. Welcome or welcome back. I went to the Dollar Tree, uh, which is now the Dollar 25 Tree, although they haven't renamed themselves yet. And I put together for myself an emergency self-care kit. And I spent less than $30, so I feel like it was very reasonable. And I wanted to share with everyone what I'm gonna put in it and how I'm gonna use it. So here we go. First, I needed a container to put everything in. It is a giant Tupperware, essentially, store brand, nothing fancy. I was hoping for cute little baskets or something. I just didn't see any except for the folded kind and I really wanted something that I could put a lid on because I have cats and I really don't need the cats getting into my self-care kit, especially because I will be setting everything aside and keeping it for when I'm feeling down, feeling bored, feeling upset, feeling in need of self-care. The first thing I got, I'm very pleased with, is this little jar. Immediately when I think self-care, I think candles. However, I have cats and I do not like open flames in my house, especially when I'm not watching them. If I burn a candle, for one, it can't be scented, which is almost impossible to find. And for two, I don't leave it alone because not only do I have cats, but then there's dust and stuff and papers everywhere. I don't want anything catching on fire. So I got myself a little jar. It's very cute. It's kind of iridescent. Oh, you can totally see that. It's kind of iridescent. It has a lid and I'm not gonna keep this by itself, but what I plan on putting in it are these. These are, you know, glass gems. They had acrylic diamondy things, little red ones, but I really wanted, I wanted some rocks because the intention is put the rocks in the jar and add lights, tea light candles. These are not actually tea lights. These are the LED tea light candles. They're color changing, which is not quite the intent. I was hoping for something that was just white, but this is what they had. So that I can make a candle jar that is completely safe and I can tuck it away. So maybe I want to meditate with it. Maybe I want to just have a little light going that I can focus on or just something bright and shiny. I love colors. So these are, this is, my first uh, most exciting portion and I will try perhaps to put together put this together so that you can see what it'll look like when it's all together another thing I got are these cute little note cards they are just blank inside there's six of them note cards because sometimes when you're feeling when I'm feeling down at least sometimes writing a note to someone and expressing your gratitude for them or just asking them how they're doing is a good way to change the focus from what you are feeling and going through and putting it out there on others, letting them know you care, letting them know you're grateful for them, letting them know that you're they're on your mind. It's a nice way to brighten someone else's day and in return, because that comes back to you, get some self-care from it. So cute little note cards. I got a journal. It's cute, it's lined, it's nothing fancy. This is probably really personal to me. I just like notebooks. And so finding a notebook in here, I can write out the issues I'm having. I can manifest scripting things. I can write down things I'm grateful for. I can just complain for 15 minutes and then set it aside, little journal. To write in the journal, of course I needed pens and of course I needed rainbow pens and of course I needed ballpoints. Gels are wonderful, fabulous, but sometimes they're fussy and I just, you know, ballpoints, you know what you're getting. Sometimes it's gonna be clumpy, but you got, you got it. So I got pens to go with. I may take these out and tie a ribbon around them or maybe just let them be loose in the box. I don't know, but they have nice little grips. They're all the different colors. In terms of more paper items, I got myself a couple puzzle books. One is Sudoku and one is a word search. It's something that will let me take my mind off of whatever. Maybe like today I'm over overthinking everything and I just need to stop overthinking and just concentrate on something that's easy to deal with and puzzles. Even though in the Sudoku there's like expert level ones and <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go, but they're also just cute little colors. 71 word searches, 71 Sudoku. I mean, that's considerable. This will last me a while. 
And this is the kind of self-care kit that I don't want to just use once and never use again, but that I could keep pulling out when I need self-care. And I only spent $30 on it, so every time I use it, the price goes down. I got myself two greeting cards. Be bold, be bright, be you. Inside it says, no one can do it better. This is to write myself a note of support. I will do this before I package up the emergency kit and I will just leave it to probably unsealed but tucked in so that I can open it and have that reminder from myself. The other one, power and purpose, you have both. I know it and I hope you do too. I love this. It's motivational. I can't believe I found these since the dollar store. I'm very pleased with these greeting cards. And once again, I'm going to write it a note of empowerment, a note of uh, positivity, a note of gratitude to myself so that I have something to open and remind myself of why I love me. And that's feels like self-care to me. I found stickers. This is a personal choice. Not everybody loves stickers. Not everyone loves rainbows, girls rule, spread the love, unicorns, stickers. I do, and I love these. So this is gonna be fun and useful. I use them, for me, I use them when I write notes to other people and to have a selection of stickers in my self-care kit makes a lot of sense for me. Continuing with the paper theme, because of course, I got myself a notepad and some envelopes. Now, why do I need 40 envelopes and an unruled multicolored notepad with all of the colors? Well, the thought was more positive notes for myself. Either when I open the package and I need to put a note aside for myself for later, or before I set this up, I put more envelopes in here for me to pull one out and remind myself of things I was thinking, things that I'm positive about right now, reminders of, you know, my strength, my beauty, my adorable cats, whatever I need, but I have things that I can set aside. I can set aside 40 different notes. I almost got index cards, but then I decided this was going to work better. So this is going in. I got myself a puzzle. I'm not a super big puzzle person. This is just 350 pieces, but I thought if I am in need of self-care, and I just need time for myself and I'm not feeling like grabbing a pen and writing things down, maybe just sitting with a puzzle that I could potentially finish in one sitting would be helpful. So I have a puzzle. I, let's see how big it is, 20 inches by 12 inches. So it's not huge, it fit on my desk, but it's got thousands of rainbow origami cranes. It looks rainbow, it looks bright, it looks light. I'm excited. I think this is gonna be fun and I will, do my best to not lose any pieces and probably return it in a, in a plastic bag so that I can keep it for the next time. So I've gone through the main paper supplies. Like I am a paper oriented person. So of course that I did a lot of that. I got some personal care items. One, I got an exfoliating bath glove. Let's put it upside, right? I felt like I needed some sort of bath item to include with self care. And I am not a face mask gooey person. I don't like a lot of scented things. This lets me feel like I'm performing self-care without having to actually smear myself with stink. It's not stink. It's scented. It's floral. It's chemical. It's overwhelming. So another kind of self-care item is I am on myself a sleep mask. Five more minutes. I actually probably should have bought myself an extra one to use daily and i know this isn't gonna hold up it's dollar tree item but there are times when i'm sleeping and the lights in the room are on and this would be fantastic to kind of cut the lights without having to put everyone else in the dark so we'll include that i purchased is an impulse in the checkout line a mini nail tool kit because who knows about the tweezers but the emery boards the orange stick the clippers you just need those kind of tools and sometimes you don't have them so it's in my self-care kit if i need them or perhaps i will go purchase myself another one and relocate this to my office so i always have a set there but another self-care beauty kind of item that sort of fits with my lifestyle i got myself an expandable washcloth it's from frozen it is a uh, I'm acting like I haven't seen the movies before. <laughs> it's the older sister and 
her water horse. It's cute. I just, this kind of stuff just trips my trigger. So I have a washcloth that I can pull out and enjoy with my scrubbing glove. I, I felt like beauty items kind of needed to be in the self-care kit, but the, again, this is my kind, my speed, whatever emergency health kit you might put together might have completely different items in it. I grabbed, again in the checkout line, a fresh cherry Carmen lip balm. I got myself a lip balm. I don't use it very often, but I do, especially in the winter, deal with peeling and dry lips. So this would be good just to be able to pull out and be like, oh, okay, this is a smell I can handle. Cherry, lip balm, no problem. And then I bought myself a seasonal item. My family hates these kitchen towels because they are difficult to dry your hands with. However, I think this is cute as heck and it's for me. I might use this to wrap things up with. I might use this to stick in the kitchen when I'm feeling sad and force my family to use it with me as well. Um, it doesn't really matter. I think it's cute. I decided it needed to go in my self-care kit. I don't know why, but I bought myself a square of fabric. It is craft fabric, 18 by 21 inches. It's not very big. I could use it to wrap all of the things in the box so that they don't show through. I could try to make a craft. Maybe I'll decide I wanted to make something. I don't know, maybe I just want to try a craft. I just, I thought it fit in there and it's not immediately obvious why, but I can see this bringing myself joy and perhaps giving me a little project to work on at some point. So that goes in there. And finally, last item, promise. I bought myself some candy because sometimes when you're not feeling well, you just need sugar. And this, the nerds, now they say uh, best by August, 2025. So I have a little less than two years to use it. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. And that's what I have. It's really full. I'm pretty sure I can condense it down and I will work on that and uh, get some pictures in to show you how that, how it looks all put together. But this is my emergency care kit, self-care kit. I am super excited to get it all put together. I'm kind of excited to use it and per like it doesn't need to be an emergency for me to use it. I could just pull it out anytime, which means I could put it all together and then pull it out and use it. I could totally do that. Anyway, this is my video for today. Have you ever thought of putting together your own self-care kit? And if so, would you go to the Dollar Tree or would you perhaps go to somewhere else like Target? If you'd be interested in me doing a different version of this self-care kit, like through Amazon or, or Target, let me know and I will see what I can do. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye. Here it is. All packed up. Okay, so the lid doesn't like to stay on. <laughs> but I believe I have it packed in, so everything will stay put once I um, work a couple things out. <laughs> Thanks.